Hello everybody, I'm Forrest McFreelava and this is Let's Play Italy and Hearts of Iron 3, number 6. We left off having secured Mare Nostrum pretty much, with the exception of Vichy France, but we'll deal with them later. We are still at war with the United Kingdom. Interestingly, Germany has not declared uh, Operation Barbarossa or any of that, so they're just kind of at this awkward little piece with the Soviet Union, and we'll see how long that holds up. We are taking over all of these uh, West African coastal bits with just this one navy and groups of marines. Our navy has taken a lot of damage. Uh, hopefully it'll hold up long enough to hopefully take over the rest of the um, Sub-Saharan African coastline and knock Portugal out of the war. Uh, realistically at this point, since it is nearing winter, we're not in that much of a hurry. Uh, however, we haven't passed the most efficient laws, so let's go ahead and do that right now. And I'm gonna just try not to kick myself for not already having these passed. As that's, uh, that's a bit of a mistake on my part. Uh, let's see, specialist training we don't need though, that's just, that's just a big nothing. Service by requirement, all that, let's see, we can create a new mechanized division. And we'll just post it right on over here and go ahead and just make a new core for it and it will just be added straight to the Mediterranean command because apparently we don't have any sort of army or army group command or level command structures in this country but that doesn't really matter all that much for now we're just fighting over such large areas that we would either need to have an army for every core and then an army group for every two cores or just direct everything to the command of the uh, larger group and we're just going to go with the larger group on this one because it's just a little bit more convenient to deal with. Uh, we're still going to press forward with these uh, marine groups as this is basically the one area we're able to still advance. Looks like some Spanish nationalists are rising up. And is this a naval battle? It is and it doesn't appear to be going so very well for us. In fact, honestly, we might start pulling back to just reinforce our navy as we are starting to face some pretty pretty intense resistance. Uh, let's go ahead and deal with this little rebellion. And that reminds me, did we ever actually... No, we still left all of our rebel suppression groups in Spain. So that's another reason to go back up and deal with that. And I don't believe we can actually evacuate our marine groups just yet until they manage to swoop around and take the uh, various... Oh, click the map instead. Click, er, uh, go through the various enemy victory positions, victory points in the interior, and this group apparently cannot get evacuated from right there, which is kind of problematic. As apparently, this is the group that actually has the dock, although I'm not sure how we'll pick them up from that. We'll have to find that out, though, in the future. So we'll speed things up a little bit. It looks like we are getting more industrial capacity from this new uh, total economic mobilization, so I kind of messed up by not having that selected previously. Uh, it looks as though we are facing a lot of losses in our convoy and escort groups, so let's actually go ahead and build quite a few more convoy and escort groups, just because the last thing we need is to run out, as that would be pretty much the biggest disaster it possibly could be. So we'll just use 40 IC to build as many as we can. As we get more industrial capacity, we should be able to build these without really having to uh, rely on really anything else. Can we move these groups? No, we're fighting the Battle of Slave Coast again. All right, we won. We're really taking some some really unfortunate levels of casualties, though. I mean, we haven't lost any ships, but look at how low some of the ships have gotten. Can we pick these guys up? Evidently, we're not able to pick these guys up. Alright, and the Day of Infamy has happened. So we're going to rush these guys to the next port that we actually know works. These guys will just do their thing for now. These guys have already been loaded up, so we don't have to worry about them. We will sail them back to Italy proper. And we're going to just reinforce this group. We'll probably toss the transports over into another mil into another naval group. 
Ultimately, though, since the U.S. just got attacked by Japan, that means we're now going to have to fight the United States. Let's take a look diplomatically. They aren't quite against us yet, which is good. Oh, we lost a transport. But we sink a lot of British ships, so that's, you know, worth it. Uh, let's see. So, Tora, Tora, Tora. The Japanese are going to get a lot of additional gains against the Americans in the near future with that. Uh, let's see, Spanish nationalists are just rolling up. Looks like we're dealing with them, though, so that's good. And we're still losing all these transports that are getting supplies over to our Marines, which is kind of awful. Hopefully we'll be able to pick those Marines up and put them somewhere more helpful in the nearish future. How well that's going to go remains to be seen, but we can certainly hope. Also, there's apparently just a British Navy chilling there, sinking our stuff. And none of that is good. This group's rolling on through. We're going to just keep battling this British group to hopefully get it so that these guys can avoid direct combat. And where is our naval bomber? We're going to get our naval bomber group, and if there's something sinking our shipping, sinking our shipping in the Mediterranean, we need to deal with that as quickly as possible, because that is just not something we should let happen. Uh, that group will still do what it's been doing. This group will move over. I don't really believe we have to worry about additional British forces getting into our sea while we control both uh, Gibraltar and the Suez. So while they do that, we'll just have all these groups roving about. Uh, we'll send second air intercept to, I don't know, maybe discover them or something. All right, looks like we sank two, torpe or two submarines and we just lost a apparently torpedo ship. And they're down here now, so we'll just follow them. Looks like we didn't need to send air intercepts to do any recon or anything like that. That was just me overthinking things. So we'll just chill right here, send these guys on a patrol order. Hopefully they'll eventually sink the uh, British submarine forces, just kind of being a problem in the general area. There they are, they're just right there. Just being a problem. Alright, let's see. We are slowly reinforcing this group, which is pretty good. Hopefully these marines will eventually get to ports where we'll be able to pick them back up, and then we'll just go and pick them back up, and that'll be pretty straightforward. And there's still just British just chilling right there. We'll just give these guys a move order, because I don't think they're actually moving very much, if at all. We may as well send our wolf packs over to here. Now, interestingly enough, while the Americans are fighting the Japanese, they don't actually appear to be fighting uh, us. And the Japanese appear to only be fighting uh, the USA and the Philippines and aren't actually fighting anyone else either. So it's possible, although, you know, perhaps quite unlikely, that the Japanese are just going to end up leaving us alone and leaving the allies alone and we'll just have two separate wars going on that don't really matter to one another also I'm not sure how many uh, submarines were actually in that British group so we're just going to patrol this portion of the Mediterranean with the uh, forces we have left and really hope to just just sink it if there is anything left there might not be but there also might be and if there is I don't want to be the guy who just sort of let that stay around and sink all of our convoys, especially now that we're really getting worried about our level of convoys. Uh, let's see. We will push down the Air Force upgrades. Industrial capacity and all these escorts are still useful. Uh, we did start running out of convoys in general, which is not good. They'll all be finished by March, which is mediocre. Oh god, the British are storming Tangier. Alright, that means they're going to have access back into our sea. We cannot allow this to stand. Uh, we're going to just make the bold assumption that uh, th we've sank all of their submarines, and with that, let's begin operations to try to get them out of Tangier before this becomes some sort of horrible disaster. Now we can also deploy a few more boats, so that's cool. We'll deploy them to that group of uh, reserves, which we've never bothered to actually attach to one of our understrength armadas. Doesn't matter all that much, though. So let's see, we are now fighting a British force. Is it significant? Oh, it's that same one. So hopefully, no, it's not significant. Alright, we'll just counter Marine land. 
maybe not the best choice I could have made. We are winning these battles at sea, though. Let's get second armada. You guys can move over here and just keep sinking that one British group over and over again ad nauseum. And, I mean, it looks like we are doing fairly well against these British defenders. Hopefully, at least for the moment. Could we just charge this group over? No, we can't. Alright, whatever. Worth, worth attempting. We will do a lot of, uh, let's see, convoy raiding in this general area with our remaining wolf packs, which will hopefully just sort of sink whatever we can of the enemy. And I'm not quite sure what's happening to these. Oh, there they are. They're just fighting here again. Hmm. Alright, whatever. It looks like we are starting to do some damage to these ships, though, which is good. We are losing organization from our landing, so it looks like that isn't actually going to work. What we will do instead, then, is... Uh, first of all, we'll just drop these guys off. So we'll rebase them right here. I guess we're losing some ships against those. And what am I looking for? Oh, we totally forgot to even reorganize... And we, I mean I, totally forgot to reorganize our infantry and whatnot, so let's get all of our armored divisions right over to there. I forget if we've already moved uh, one of those groups away from wherever it had been posted earlier. I guess it doesn't matter all that much. Uh, we'll keep this group in the central area of the country, or we'll move it to the south. Just protect the south. Actually, we'll move it there, and we'll carry this group over to here, and eventually we're going to have to battle uh, a bunch of things. So we'll bring these guys over, uh, transport them, get a couple armor divisions. Those will just make short work of the marines, hopefully, maybe. Who's to say? But I imagine it might. Luckily, it looks as though this British Navy isn't able to escape still, which is pretty swell news for us. And we may as well just go ahead and attach this group to that group and get it back up to 30 full strength. Now that we have two groups of armor, we'll probably just be able to storm this beach, apparently. Still, still an issue. Alright, there we go. Now that we have our navy on the side, we're doing fairly well. And we are sinking some of their convoys and whatnot, which is good. It'll slowly start wearing them down. And eventually we'll be able to pick up the marine group that we still have and launch some sort of further attack with that. Oh god, there's just support units there. Oh, but we won anyway, that's cool. We'll rebase over though to protect them. We might lose the uh, offensive advantage from our navy, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Alright, there we go, we won that. We are starting to just win out loud here in the sea. There we go, we got another major bonus because our navy is in the area. And we'll probably just attach our transports to this group and sail them around to save everybody who remains. Alright, and we have reconquered Tangier. Uh, we may as well just leave those elements there for right now. Uh, let's see. We'll leave this group more or less to split in half. Uh, this group will sail down and rebase here for just a moment. We have the effects of Gibraltar now, so yay us. And what we'll do is we will switch over. And yes, we have to fight these Alborian Seas battles over and over again. But we'll rebase this group here. This group will just stay here for just a moment. We'll create a new unit including all of these transports. And now first armada, you guys get to go to the mainland where you will, or we'll just go back home. You'll rebase, hopefully heal up a bit. We'll load these guys onto the transports and then rebase them over to here. Now we'll merge this group into an actual navy. I believe it's just 5th Corps and it's Marines. 5th Corps and a single Marine, I guess. Probably just easier to select them like this. 
All right, we'll load these guys up. Now get this guy's in position, so we'll go rebase over here and pluck him up. This guy is in position two. It looks as though Portugal is just about to surrender, which actually means we could probably take over this victory point. And let's see, let's look at diplomatic again. So the United States is not currently at war with us, but they are at war with Japan. That's kind of questionable. I'm really, really hesitant that they might go to war with us. Uh, they're giving Lind lease aid to the United Kingdom, which is going to be a problem. Now, the original plan called for us just taking all of these allied ports in Africa. And we might still want to do that, although at this point they're going to start retaking them. It looks like the at least Belgians are getting some forces in uh, order to do that. What we might want to do is just knock the uh, Portuguese out of the war. And, alright, it looks like there's a lot of enemy troops in the capital of Libya, which is, uh, or Liberia, which is Monrovia. Sorry for calling it Libya. Uh, so there's a lot of enemy troops in Liberia's capital. Now, I'm thinking that we might want to test our nation's ability to, uh, launch these marines of ours against a entrenched foe. Now, what that means is... What we could probably do is use Liberia as a bit of a testing ground for our Marines' ability to actually storm a, you know, port or storm some sort of heavily defended territory. And if they manage to succeed, then we know that we have that capacity and we can move forward with that knowledge. If they fail, then all that happens is Liberia joins the war against us, and honestly that doesn't terrify me at all. In fact, if anything, yeah, it, it really, they would probably join the Allies eventually at some point, and I don't think they're even attached to the United States in any way. No, they just grant military access to our enemies. So what we could do is declare war on and puppet Liberia. Hopefully their armies will, will then just kind of rove about and take the other uh, port nearby. Hey, look, they spawned in right next to our army, and we totally forgot to move over our suppression units still. Alright, and America is in the Allies now, which is basically the worst news we could possibly have gotten, other than that the Soviet Union or Nazi Germany declared on us. So, of all the bad news, that was the third worst news we could have gotten. We're going to declare war to puppet Liberia, because why not? And we'll send all three groups of Marines and see how well they do. And it looks like they're doing amazingly well, which is pretty spectacular news. Okay, they're doing the whole United Nations thing. We're still sinking the British Navy wherever we fight it, which is pretty spectacular. Uh, let's take a look at the diplomatic map mode. We are now at war with the United States. Although we did defeat that Spanish rebellion, so hey, we got something going for us. Alright, so the United Nations is doing their whole nonsense. Uh, we'll just kind of march into Liberia and hope for the best. Oh wait, did I declare war to puppet them? I'm pretty sure I did. And that's the only victory point they have, right? Alright, cool. So we'll probably have them defeated by the end of the year, and then we'll load up our marines and go hopefully defeat Portugal as well, at which point we're really going to have to start thinking about long-term solutions, which is probably going to mean at least to an extent our navy, as at this point we're going to have to go pretty hard against uh, really just anyone with a navy. We've won the Battle of Monrovia, so, we'll just go park our dudes. And we have now puppeted Liberia. Hooray, Liberia. Welcome to the Italian Empire. Feel free to do better than Ethiopia did. Alright, this group's going to rebase in Lisboa, but only in a technical sense. They're just going to move over to those remaining Portuguese islands. And I'm not sure we'll actually make it before the end of the year, but we're going to try pretty hard. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to just keep moving forward. Uh, at this point, most everything is at least in some level of order, which is pretty good. We're definitely going to have to make some decisive actions in the near future, though, if we're going to hold on to everything that we've taken. And decisive actions are probably going to mean attacking into Ireland and then the United Kingdom. 
uh, just because if we don't, then the allies are going to have a significant staging ground for future attacks against us, especially now that we have to worry about considerable forces being shipped over from the uh, other side of the Atlantic. All right, it is January 1st. The Portuguese, uh, I guess just state, has made it into the new year. Let's see if they make it any further than the first week. And let's take a look really quickly. We've got our navy moving on out to get to a northern position. We can deploy a few more support craft. Uh, we'll just send them over to here. We're now also fighting Mexico to give you the uh, fullest extent of what's what's going on with the whole allies. It is now Mexico is on their side as well as the United States and just generally all sorts of North American places that are going to probably be a significant problem for us. Oh well, it doesn't matter too very much. We'll just have to deal with what comes as it comes and hopefully launch a sort of decisive blow while we still have the initiative. Uh, Germany wants us to go join their faction. We're not going to do that, Germany. We're not going to do that until our backs are against the wall. Let's see, we'll just speed this up. They did actually make it past the first week, I'll give them that. And we have annexed Portugal, great news there. So let's go ahead and uh, rebase very quickly. We'll pluck all these guys up. Rebase over to here and then start picking up the units we're going to need for our invasion of the United Kingdom. So let's see, civil defense, we cannot actually research, so we will stop trying to. And a January invasion is probably a terrible idea. However, giving the Allies time to build up and become a tremendous problem is no better of an idea. So when we have to choose between one or another bad idea, we're going to just try to pick the least bad idea. We'll try to rove these tanks up. And what this means is we're going to just gather as many forces as we can and just hopefully make a decent staging force to invade Ireland, which is basically the back door into the United Kingdom. We'll probably puppet the Irish too, which would give us additional forces and also a supply center in the islands to move into the United Kingdom from. Uh, this is all still kind of just being thrown together, so I don't really have any sort of operational plan for it right now. The main point being, though, we're going to have to act very swiftly or face the consequences of our inaction, which uh, will probably not be anything resembling good news for our state. So with that in mind, we're probably going to manage to outrun our supplies. Looks like we're, we're fighting some battle against the British, and we destroyed their destroyers. Cool. They are probably doing anti-submarine hunting missions, and I'm glad they failed at that. And another battle against this kind of just always going to be here, Western Alborian Sea group of British. Alright, so this group of infantry we're going to carry over, and let's see what we should do next. We won't actually pick up this armored group right now, what we'll do instead is rove on over to here, and we won't actually attach this destroyer group because then we would be over the maximum fleet size we could actually be. We're going to have to fight another battle against these British. Or maybe not. Hey, they let us go. Cool. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is pick up these um, motorized or mechanized... Mechanized. We'll pick up these mechanized divisions, pick up our armor, drop them all off up here, which hopefully these guys will be there at that point. Honestly, we'll just leave them right there. That's close enough. All right, so we'll have a mechanized and armored group ready to advance. We have Marines to lead the way. And we might want to pick up some additional infantry. Although, at this point, we are hmm, can carry 54 of 160 weight. So, we'll see what we can pick up. We'll just pick up the odds and ends of various military groups in the worst case. I forgot to pick up their... Core. Let's, let's stop real quick and rebase here. Time is kind of of the essence, but not so much that uh, it would really matter if we dither a tiny bit. Emphasis on tiny, though. We don't want to really dither too much. 
So we'll go over here, pick up some infantry. Those will provide maybe not the backbone, but at least some sort of additional force, which will hopefully help us in some way. As the situation, if we can't knock the British out of the war, is probably going to be at least moderately desperate. Uh, let's take a look. Let's get this artillery and whatnot infantry group, and that's probably all we can carry. We'll double check, though. We may as well. Yeah, that's all we're going to be able to carry, so we'll take all these guys. We'll drop them off up in the north. Battleship armor is too far advanced. Alright, so a battle against Ireland is going to be probably the safest bet we have at this point. Because one of two things will happen. Thing one, we manage to invade and puppet the Irish, which opens the door for our invasion and puppeting of the United Kingdom. Great news. Thing two, we invade Ireland, get bogged down on the beaches, and are forced to evacuate. If that happens, I trust that we will be able to evacuate away from the Irish much more than I trust that we'll be able to evacuate away from the British. And that kind of just gives us a little bit of security in our forces, as if we go all in against the British and lose, we could potentially lose our marines, our mechanized, which we just got by the way and I don't want to lose, and not just those, but also our entire armored division, basically the entire mechanized or utility elements of the Italian military could be lost if we bungle the invasion that we're about to do. So uh, with that all said, let's, uh, let's not bungle this. That's basically the only solution we've got to this problem, is uh, not to mess it up. So let's go ahead and not mess it up to the best of our ability. We'll gather up all of our planes, even air transport, and we'll drop them off all right here because this is going to be the defining operation, even more so than our invasion of uh, the Middle East, which if that went poorly, yeah, we lost the Middle East, it sucks. If this goes poorly, we could potentially do some terrible damage to our own country. And that's a rather worrying thought. So, step one, we'll load up all of these marines, we will take them over to here. Uh, set first armada, which apparently is the one without the transports and has been prior for some time, we'll bring up there. We'll get to Ireland, and let's see, victory points right there and right there. We'll go after the southern one first, and then that one. And, yeah, this is the moment of truth. This is our Operation Sea Lion, and it looks like there is a wall of defenders. So let's declare war. We'll puppet the Irish and get this wall of defenders on our side if we're at all able. All right, Marines, your job is what it's always been. Go land on this foreign people's beach and make it our beach. And, you know, it's actually going a lot better than I would have suspected. I'm glad we tested this out on Liberia, otherwise I would have not trusted our ability to do this whatsoever. At any rate, that's great. We are actually proving to be fairly successful at naval landings, which is incredibly good news when your country relies on your ability to launch naval landings. It looks like we're fighting an Irish fleet. It looks like they lost and went away. Cool. That's all we needed them to do. Now, here's the difficult question. Do we just leave these forces here, leave maybe one marine division, or do we rove back south as quickly as we possibly can and pick up another group? If we bring our armored groups up, we're going to run out of supplies relatively quickly, and that would be a disaster. Uh, let's see. Are we getting bogged down? Hopefully not. We'll bring this group over to get a little bit more of a vantage point and hopefully some additional bonuses. Oh no, they're bringing more forces. As makes sense, it's understandable. I don't believe any of our Air Force actually has the ability to reach out this far. So, yeah, probably not. Is there an air map mode though? Air map mode. Yeah, we can't make it. Okay, thanks air map mode. Actually, what is all this? Air map mode. Huh. Two bombings. Okay, so it looks as though the Germans are doing their whole 
uh, what's it called? I guess just Attack of Terror. What was it really called? Not Attack of Terror. That's that's just ridiculous. No one would ever call anything that. Uh, we also have two more transports ready, so we'll probably go rush them over to here once we get this group down so we uh, won't lose anything to that one group of British ships. And we'll bring them over and hope for the best. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it was like the London terror bombing campaign. Battle of Britain. There we go. The Battle of Britain is going on in, in traditional Western overhype mode when we know for a fact that the real Battle of Britain, the one that's actually going to be a fight, is uh, is happening just across. So we'll go over here, pick up maybe a tank or something. We're winning this battle. Uh, I imagine maybe one or two group of armored will suffice to defend against these uh, Irish. It looks as though we can already launch a secondary attack, so we'll just rebase right here. Load these guys all up. Move over. It looks as though they have some land defenses, but not any uh, naval defenses which is going to seem like a terrible oversight in a moment when we take over their country. Alright, and we're doing decently well. Let's hurry up and get these guys over here so we don't lose that port we just took. Alright, who all can we load? Let's see if we can get at least one of each. Nope. Um, I guess a single group of armored is going to be are horrifically at risk group in this invasion. Oh man, that's uh, that's kind of worrying. Uh, okay, we'll get this new group of uh, ships over there. I'm so happy I decided to focus on ships a couple episodes ago, as this would have been a horrible disaster if I never did that. Alright, there we go. We got our armor going on, and we won the battle immediately, which is pretty great and kind of vindicates my idea to send these armor over there. Uh, we're getting a lot of issues with supply throughput. Hopefully we can just take over the Irish as soon as possible. And supply throughput will no longer be that much of an issue. Hey, look, supply throughput. Cool. Yay for supply throughput. Just when you need it, we get it. That's, that's pretty swell. That helps a lot. Uh, let's see, we should probably bring another group of armor, just because that first one's undersupplied, and... I mean, admittedly, that's basically just like, oh, let's let's throw more money on this fire to put out that fire. It, it doesn't really make sense from a logistical standpoint of, oh, our logistics are over are um, overly stretched, so let's send more more of a burden to them. Ultimately, though, we will have Ireland in our side in about right now. Please say that was enough. Let's look. It is cool. So, bam, just like that, Ireland is an Italian puppet. Uh, let's take a look. We could apparently not call them to arms or anything. Can we call Liberia to arms? I'm not going to call Liberia to arms because I don't want them to just die. Uh, the Irish, though, will make a very nice staging ground for any campaigns against the British, and it looks like we can just rove our forces straight through them into our uh, remaining enemy, the British. Uh, they probably don't grant them military access anymore, or at least I really desperately hope they don't. Uh, we'll rebase this group down south, uh, move all of our transports back over to First Armada. It looks like South Africa is becoming an annoyance. Uh, it looks as though we've actually done so much production, so much producing, that uh, we're now able to just focus on even more. So we're going to build a few more transports, not because we really need to at the moment, just because we've had more times than I would like where our number of transports has been actively detrimental to the war effort. And that's really nothing that we need to maintain. Alright, so let's see, they're bombing us, those jerks. Let's get this navy over here and create a new unit. We will go ahead and drop off, let's say, I guess two destroyers. We'll send two destroyers off from this fleet. Let's, come on, get this one. New unit, two transports, rove them over onto the other fleet. And now we're going to have the fun task of remembering which is which. Luckily, they have the icons, which is pretty convenient. We'll load these guys up. Second armada, do your jobs. First armada, do your jobs. And let's see, what do we need? Where are, we never got the other armor. 
All right, first steps first, let's pick up these other armored elements. We'll get them and the mechanized, and we'll roll on up to Belfast, uniting the Irish countryside, admittedly under vague Italian rule. Maybe less vague than vague in some instances, but still probably pretty vague. All right, insufficient research for supply, supply, and small arms. We'll just turn those off. We don't need those. And rove this group on up. Hopefully that wasn't anything horrible. And it doesn't appear to have been anything horrible, which is good news for us. Uh, core of Celery, uh, you've got one group over here, two groups over here, because we were a little forward-thinking. So we'll load up our armored groups. Uh, let's see, Sixth Core and your dudes, we will apparently not be able to load you all up. But we can get most of you. So we'll do that instead. And we'll drop them all off in Belfast. This group will roll on up. Was that actually Belfast? No, that was Dublin. Belfast is the other one. Alright, so, why can't we get these guys in the war? Uh, it doesn't really say. Doesn't matter though, uh, we do have a nice, really awesome naval staging ground right next to the British home islands, which I imagine if you were British, you would be really, really unenthused about. So, um, yeah, interestingly enough, I would really expect that the British would just instantly declare war on them now that they are our puppet. I mean, if they're not going to do that, I'm not going to complain too loudly because, you know, ultimately we benefit from the British not being in this more than the British do, as this is actually pretty much going to just wreck the British war effort, I'm fairly certain. I mean, maybe it won't, but I, I would certainly expect that it would. Alright, so let's load up this 5th Corps and all these units, and uh, let's see, we could just go for Gas... Gas... Gow? Gas Cow? Gas Cow? I, you know, I can't even begin to pronounce these names. Uh, let's see. Glasgow? It's Glasgow. 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 I know what this is. I've, I, I shouldn't know how to say that. Glasgow? Whatever. Uh, we're invading Glasgow. That's the important point. Scotland is the target now because Scotland is closest. If there was a little bit more logic to that, then I would have uh, filled you in on it. Maybe before we finish this uh, invasion of the UK, I'll have a good reason or an excuse or whatever. Uh, let's see, let's start putting up justifications. Oh, we need to get our Air Force. Alright, Air Force, go fly over to Ireland, technically neutral, which means you don't even have to worry about being attacked from your bases, which is pretty spectacular. Alright. So, let's see, first air intercept, you're going to want to do a whole lot of air interception just throughout everywhere you're able to. Second air intercept, basically the exact same thing, do all this air interception. Uh, first naval bomber, let's just make sure we don't have all of our forces die terrible deaths to the British at sea. Uh, try to stick to this bit and we'll hope for the best, keep doing that. Uh, let's see, first air transport, nah. Nah, just do your thing. Uh, first tactical bomber, let's go tactically bomb these guys. Actually, we'll go tactically bomb up here. It's probably a little bit more risky, but we need to tactically bomb these guys to ensure that we get a foothold on the real main British in just state, all that main British stuff. All right, so justifications, let's start making them up. Uh, justification one, uh, Scotland being far away from the core area of England, is less likely to have a significant uh, garrison. Uh, reserve, or, uh, reason number two, uh, it'll take time for the British forces to come up here, so if the worst case happens and we do end up losing, they'll still probably have shifted a decent portion of the reserves up north, and we'll just be able to attempt a landing in the south, where they will now have uh, proportionately less forces than earlier, which may open up a second... Uh, opportunity for us to, uh, I don't know, make some sort of gains against them where otherwise we wouldn't, which has opened up recently due to our uh, very ingenious attack to the north to draw their forces into a vulnerable position. So so there we go. We're, we're, we're getting all sorts of excuses for this. Uh, let's see. It doesn't appear to be going so very well, but it's also not going very poorly either, so that's that's something. Uh, let's take a look at the battle, please. 
please. There we go. All right. So they don't have very many forces in the area right now. They're probably going to be bringing reinforcements up as swiftly as they possibly can. Uh, we'll, we'll chase that group because we probably should. Ultimately, though, we have secured basically all of Ireland. It looks like they actually do have a small port right there, which eh, we could just drive to. Although, if we drive to there, then we're risking... Uh, let's see. Oh, we've lost one of our convoys. That's annoying. Alright, at any rate, we'll just keep up this landing. It looks as though it's actually going very much in our favor at this point, which is spectacular. Alright, we've landed. Glasgow is ours. Uh, let's stop right here real quick, you guys, and let's go rebase over in Ireland and start plucking up our mobile units. Uh, we are getting fought in Glasgow, which is not surprising, although also not ideal. And hopefully this unit will go, take over that port, and we'll be able to start using our forces in that port. Uh, we are actually facing some pretty, pretty stiff resistance in Glasgow. Let's get these armored units as quickly as we can, because this is going to be priority one now. Alright, armor and mechanized units. I forgot that we didn't quite pick up the other mechanized unit. Uh, we're going to go transport you, and actually probably rebase as well. No, we'll just transport, because we do actually have to, uh, have to deal with the, uh, supply issues. We're also going to move this fleet over to get permanent, uh, naval... Oh, they're not even attacking from s coastal provinces. That's a problem. Alright, uh, at any rate, hopefully this will be enough forces to turn the tides in this battle. The naval presence does help somewhat, which is very good. They do appear to have a bunch of alpine regiments, which, or not alpine, I guess at this point, just mountain regiments, which could be a problem for us, as uh, we don't have any of our own. Bam! Look at that, though. Now that we've landed these forces, we are winning out loud. Let's get this group. Uh, it's transferring back to that base. That's very good news. We don't want them to be absorbing all of our supplies. And we will have these guys have a move order just to right there. Uh, this group will go move back and around, and we'll just have to remember to move them back before the situation uh, deteriorates or changes in any real way. Actually, uh, this group will stay here. This group will go over and bring these cores up to, say, Belfast, uh, just so that they are within command range of the units they're supposedly leading. These groups will all return to Belfast, as well, so that we can pluck them up and send them over at the first necessity. Heavy cruisers and probably infantry technology, we'll cancel those for the moment. Looks like the British are shoveling up every force they can get. Although it looks like they're really under defending their southern portions, which is pretty good news for us. Not so much for them, but for us it's pretty spectacular. Uh, we'll go transport and actually just transport, not rebase, because we don't want to use more supplies than we absolutely must. And then we'll turn our forces against them and just start roving south, hopefully into Edinburgh, which is a thing that I did pronounce right, I hope. Most likely. Alright, Glasgow, we have won. Alright, guys, we need to advance immediately. There is nothing we should be doing other than advancing on this front to build as much, as much of a buffer zone as we possibly can against any sort of British counterattack. Weirdly enough, we're doing very well against that mountain group, but not against the regular infantry. Who could say why that is? I certainly can't. I'm not going to try. We're going to just transport more troops over, and this time we will actually rebase because we have to get our marines out of there now. If we can get our marines out, we can drop them in maybe Liverpool or something. It looks like the British are bringing some significant forces up against us, which is definitely worrying. If we can drop our marines off somewhere else, then we can hopefully make them reconsider how safe they are in moving their forces north. And let's see. Okay, not the core. Forgot about that. We'll load these marines up. We need to rebase them over in Belfast immediately. Actually, we'll rebase them over in Dublin so the Irish will supply them. Uh, the group that isn't doing anything whatsoever will have you roll on south. We're doing great right there. That's awesome news. All right, we'll just keep roving around. This group uh, will probably be able to get resupplied. Are there any victory points up here? No, we are at the northernmost victory points in the British Isles, which is pretty good news for us. Uh, this group, oh, there's British armor, and we can't attack just yet. They might attack us and try to gain the initiative. Also, we are definitely losing, apparently, that Portuguese colony in India. That's interesting. Are the Japanese fighting them? Okay, the Japanese are fighting the British. That's good news. They've already taken Singapore. They're also roving against the Philippines, which is good news. 
Uh, no war against the Soviet Union, which is, you know, decent news since our forces are all going to be busy up here in the UK for the near future. All right, uh, we should let our Marines organize a bit more. Hopefully this armored group will get to position fairly soon. We're doing fairly well in this battle uh, of shots, which is pretty spectacular news. Uh, we'll probably bring this naval uh, group over to the other side to increase the odds, but then we'll lose uh, some progress on that one, which is not really worth it. We did win that battle. That's cool. That's good news. We can move out from Glasgow into the Scottish countryside. Uh, we'll load this group up as well, bring them over. Uh, we'll just transport, not rebase. And we might be at a point where we have a little bit too many forces for our own good in this region. Uh, we do have a full level naval base though, which should hopefully supply them at least somewhat. We are winning all these nearby battles, which is great news, fantastic news. Uh, it looks like we're under attack by some British forces, which we're hoping to reinforce their comrades. Doesn't matter all that much to us. Alright, let's see. We should probably pick up some infantry or something else, as we are using all of our forces and we just have this tiny little uh, landing zone. We really need infantry to just hold the rear behind us, and let's check. Our marines still have some amount of time to go before they're ready to actually fight again. So let's go, we'll pick up some infantry. This is a bit of a ways to go for some infantry, and it makes us a little bit combat ineffective for at least a short amount of time, hopefully not so long. The fall of Singapore, we just got that update despite the fact that we checked it and that had happened previously. Uh, we'll move these guys over to hopefully get some sort of advantage against that British force trying to just be jerks and kick us out of their admittedly home islands. Uh, let's see, how long do we have left before these guys are combat effective again? 14 hours, come on guys, we need to rush this as much as possible. And these guys will get there and they'll reinforce, so that isn't too much of a worry. Uh, as long as this navy is still moving, we're in a pretty decent spot. This guy needs to go. Uh, yeah, so disaster for the British. Swell. Oh, you know what we really should do? Let's go ahead and supply thoroughput. We really need that. And national manpower modifier plus industrial capacity bonuses. All good things, all incredibly important right now. Trains run on time. It's our time and the trains run on it. Good, good news for us. Hooray, Italy. Hail Italia. Uh, it looks as though we are actually going to face uh, an attempt by the British to cut off our supply routes, which is terribly rude of them, and honestly enough to make me reconsider that. Alright, what we'll do is instead we'll just load up all of these defensive groups in Spain. Worst case, we're going to lose some land in Spain. That's not that bad, honestly. Oh, wait. Hmm. Let's, let's not send the underorganized group. We'll send the most organized group forward. All right, we'll just start plucking up all these infantry groups because they're closer, and this is really going to be the primary thing right now, is that we pick up the closest possible groups and get as many men as possible in as quickly as we can, as we actually do have a shot at this if we don't blow it. Which is something, honestly, I was thinking that this might just be a... Uh, What's it called? Just a gesture? This whole battle might just be some sort of gesture? It looks as though it's going to be an actual attempt, an actual successful, hopefully, knock on wood, conquest of the British Isles by the Italians. Hey, why not? Cool. Go Italia. Hail Italia. Let's bring the second group in to bear to just get that uh, battle score up a little bit. And we'll just pick these guys up and transfer them over immediately. So load all these guys up. We'll go land them up here. Uh, we'll probably put the infantry in their own little core and keep them more or less held off for the moment. We're going to stop attacking right there because that's apparently turning into a horrible disaster. This group is apparently very disorganized, which is not good at all. Uh, we're now under attack by the British, which is somewhat to be expected, though also not any good news at all. Uh, first air intercept, you're going to go over to here, rebase here and you're going to start air interceptions all throughout this area as that's really your entire job at this point. Second air intercept, do the same thing. Same job, air uh, intercepts everywhere. You're apparently very disorganized, I'm sorry to do this to you then, but it's gotta happen. Uh, these groups are going to do just tons of interdictions everywhere. That is the goal. 
Where is our navy? We need to get these troops up here and now. Uh, this group uh, will take the most organized among you and charge forward. Looks like we're doing fairly well right there. That's great news. Uh, once we win this battle for dumb fries, which, all right, dumb fries, why not? Once we win ourselves some dumb fries, which we did, we can go and hopefully encircle this British group, which will hopefully be a uh, significant boon for us. All right, there we go. We've landed these forces. Uh, we're just going to leave one infantry. We'll detach all these guys, add them to a new corps, seventh corps. Welcome to the war. Uh, let's see. You guys stay. You guys stay. Everyone else get out of there now. Uh, we'll rebase you over here for a moment. And it looks as though we are facing an attack. Uh, nope, okay, I guess we won a battle or something. Who's really to say? Uh, alright. Mechanized, you're going to roll on through. You've really got to do this as soon as possible. Uh, let's see, we're under attack. Not terribly surprising. Uh, luckily they're not doing well at all. Let's actually roll up and try to cut off and destroy that British group of, uh, motorized. Alright, you guys, let's get all of you infantry, because we don't actually want you there. We just want your core there to actually give us some... Uh, reach. We'll bring you guys all over to Ireland, and we'll start using a marine group to start invading somewhere closer to the British uh, real core regions to just sort of direct their forces into at least two places so we don't have to worry so much. This group will just stay and defend the port. I mean, admittedly, that's kind of a risky thing to do with them. Hopefully it will pay off. Uh, once this group's combat effective again, we'll be able to hopefully uh, really just rescue these two groups as the battle there is not going well at all. Uh, these guys will have stay put just because that's starting to get a little bit less than spectacular. Uh, Alright, these troops, go. We're opening up a second front. We will go ahead, select these two. We'll go drop them off. We'll leave a third in reserve in case it seems like it's going easily enough. We'll just drop it on borrow. Forget it. Who cares? All right, and hopefully that will direct the British attention away from uh, really where it maybe should be. Uh, we'll send this infantry group over. Hopefully they'll do some good. Uh, these groups will be able to go and hopefully clean up that area and free our troops. And we'll just keep landing everywhere we possibly can in an attempt to just overwhelm the British. Looks like we won that battle. Please. Alright, this group, go! Save your comrades. Alright, we've won this battle. They're horrifically disorganized. Uh, this group can also hopefully move on forward. It looks as though we're doing mediocre in this one. We'll charge over from this side as well. Uh, apparently that is going just five well for us, which is horrible. Uh, let's see, everywhere else we're doing pretty decently, at least. This group can rove on around. Uh, a bunch of transports are getting sunk, probably our own. Not great, that. Alright, uh, these guys still just gonna do nothing. We'll rove them up over to there to take Edinburgh, and hopefully just clean house with that. This group will go down over here now that that battle's been won. And, yeah, you guys, you're not really doing anything good with that. We apparently lost a ship, but still won the battle, which is mediocre. Uh, okay, let's see. We've won a battle up there. Let's see, insufficient research for improved security units. We don't need those then. And I guess this battle is just going pretty poorly in a general sense, so we'll stop doing that. They're probably going to turn around and re-attack us, which, yeah, admittedly, they just immediately did. But we won, so that's cool. They realized that it was going no better for them than it was for us. And that's good news, as far as I'm concerned. And we'll just keep landing and taking all these key British ports. Hopefully they're pretty key. I'm assuming they're key. And look at that. That's, ah. They just keep doing this. It's terrible news for us. We'll leave this organized group here, and we'll drop the, or the disorganized group back. It does give them a slight advantage in that battle. Ultimately, though, I feel like it will help us more, as it'll allow our forces time uh, to reinforce, really. And that's going to be the most important thing. We'll roll on over to Dunbar, because they don't have anyone there, and now they do have the people there. But it's just a core, so I don't imagine it'll do very much. We've won the Battle of Dunbar. We'll roll these guys down to Morpeth, and we can hopefully destroy this British armor. Uh, by that point, this group will hopefully have a little bit more organization, and we'll be able to roll it on over to there or somewhere, probably just there. 
Okay. <sighs> oh, guys, why? Why, guys? Okay. Uh, first of all, we are losing some of our uh, transports. Actually, a worrying degree of our transports. So let's bring these guys over to somewhere slightly different. And, okay, so the situation is deteriorate. Oh, what is this? The Germans are landing too? Dude, Germany, not cool, guys. Alright, uh, well, hmm. Let's see what orgles, what orgles we can add. Uh, hmm. Are we already going to war with them? To puppet them? I forget if we actually did that or not. No, oh, well, at any rate, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, we'll also get their southwest or their uh, Pacific bases. We'll, we'll take those two. Uh, yeah. At any rate, so yeah, that's that's bad. The Germans are attacking the Soviet Union, which, well, guys, this means that we are definitely getting to a more intense point. So, uh, whatever we can say about uh, the things before this, or leading up to this, or whatever, we are definitely at a pretty intense point right now. Uh, let's go bring these forces over and reinforce this group, hopefully get at least some sort of victory out of that. We probably will lose a decent amount of our transports. Hopefully we have enough. Alright, we did win that battle. We are losing transports just left and right. That seems to be the only thing they're targeting. Alright, we're going to rebase here for now. Uh, this group will stay put. We'll pick up as many infantry as we can, which is just all of the infantry, and we'll transport them over to here. Please, without the British killing us, there we go, they didn't. Cool, alright, we landed, and it looks like that battle's going much better now. It looks like the British aren't even bothering to try to save themselves, which is nice. It's very polite of them to not bother to save themselves. Uh, they are attacking, and apparently just doing amazingly well, so let's get out of there before everyone dies. And we won the Battle of Morpeth, which is cool. We'll just destroy that group. And, yeah, that will hopefully really hamper the British ability to resist. And, you know what, we'll turn everybody in this group to uh, be prioritized for everything, really. And apparently one of our Marines just gave up the Ghost and are all dead or captured now. Which is pretty much a terrible bummer. Apparently the Germans are not actually making any progress whatsoever against the Soviet Union, which is arguably horrifically questionable, and leads to the thought that we may have to, you know, actually help them out or die later on. Uh, our transports will be done in April, which is good news. Our convoys apparently are all already all dead, so all of those new convoys we got sailed in, died immediately. Let's go ahead and make them top priority, followed by the transports, literally anything else is after that, and then we'll get another group of convoys because apparently that's just going to be something we constantly need to be dropping IC into. Not that I'm terribly surprised, but I am a little saddened by that. I was hoping that it would last a little bit longer than it did. Alright. Once we get this final group in position, we will just destroy the British armor in the south. All the British armor up in Scotland will hopefully fight the Germans or something and just kind of busy themselves up there. Uh, let's see, we've probably landed as much as we really need to, although ideally we might land a couple more times. In fact, we'll just take this group and now we'll leave them alone for right now. Alright, so we're under attack, it looks like. We'll just go in and try to destroy this group. Which it looks like we will be able to achieve, and we should have naval superiority, which helps in this battle. Nope, apparently not. Whatever. Didn't need it. Oh, we'll bring our we'll bring our marines! Yeah! Awesome! Cool, that works great. Uh, these guys will go, these guys will go that way. And, admittedly, if we had another group, we could probably have encircled this group of infantry as well. Which would have been pretty cool. Uh, we don't, so we can't, but... Actually, look at this. What we'll do is... That's not the right group. Let's pick these guys up, and that lowered our battle score in that area significantly for that moment. Uh, let's see. Cool, more of our convoys are getting sunk, this time by the Americans, which means that the American Navy is definitely here with some this legitimate serious presence, which is worrying. Apparently our other Marine group has died, which is pretty bad as well. We'll transport this group over. Apparently we are now very low on Marines. 
Once we take over Britain, though, we won't need marines for a very long time. Uh, so that's not the terrible, like, country-killing disaster it seems like it would be. And we're just going to rove these guys over and encircle these two British forces. Uh, everyone here, let's see if you can just sort of start beating up the British around you, and it looks like you can. So we'll do that everywhere we're able. Uh, this group we'll just bring over across the river because, oh, no, we're not. We're going to take them there because that really needs to be done. So if we can stop them from getting to Edinburgh, which we might, uh, then we'll just be able to wreck them in a general sense, and that will be pretty spectacular. Uh, these groups we're going to stop just begrudgingly attacking the British with. It looks like they're counterattacking us, but once we get our forces in around, then it won't matter all that much. And we have a group there guarding this British area. It looks like they've realized they've lost and given up, so that's cool. Uh, these troops will all stay put. This infantry will rove around. This armor will just kind of stay put because it has no other choice. And this armor will also stay put for the same reason. Well, I mean, it'll roll forward slightly, but that's basically it. And we won that battle, which is spectacular news. And then we'll be able to encircle and destroy them, which is even better news. We'll keep roving around, taking their ports and whatnot, because that's very important for us. I'm not sure exactly how we're doing supply throughput-wise, but I imagine it's not awful. Uh, let's see, we're fighting a lot of British all of a sudden. Apparently, now that they've realized they are encircled. Luckily, it looks as though they won't have enough forces to actually do anything about it. Uh, hmm. Although, we also don't have very many forces in the area anyway. Let's actually rebase up here for a second. And we're going to pray really hard that we're able to pick up our uh, mechanized group without just getting murdered by the British Navy, which, you know, honestly could go either way. Uh, these groups are going to go attack this area right now, hopefully just break that apart. We managed to get over here. Now that we're picking these guys up is going to be the moment of truth. Please transport over without everybody dying. Please transport over without everybody dying. If I repeat that, then it'll happen. Oh, please, transport over without everybody dying. Hey, it looks like the Germans are making nominal progress against the Soviets, which is nominally good. Nominal, word of the day. Uh, anyway, let's see. Victory points. This is a victory point. We'll take that. Uh, let's see, what else? So the British are about 50% or more on the way towards surrender, which is pretty good news for us. Uh, we could probably just retreat this marine group so it doesn't die like every other marine group we've had. As if we lose all of our marines, then we're completely helpless, and that's awful. Oh, but they gave up. Cool. Uh, this group, however, is under... undersupplied, which is not any better. Where'd this navy go? Oh, it's up here. God, no, that's awful. Let's not do that. So we're gonna pick up our marines and just get them home, because they've done really more than enough, and most of them are dead now. Uh, so that's that's a lot to ask of those guys. So we'll go, we'll pick them up, attach them to these boats, and we'll just go rebase them over here. Sorry you lost all of your friends, but they did good. Yeah, if you're, if you're us, which we are, so they did good. Alright, everyone else is kind of just doing their jobs. Apparently some British paratroopers are just kind of hanging in the air over us forever. Uh, who knows how long that's gonna last, but I guess they'll they'll just gonna they'll they'll be there. Who cares? Uh, this group we're not actually gonna attack with because that was actually less ideal than I had expected. But we're kind of there, and the British don't really seem to care about kicking us out either. So you know, kind of just friends, really. Not really friends. Just too inconvenient to actually fight one another. So we won't. Uh, let's see. Bridging assault and medium bridging assault and medium. We'll turn all those off. Apparently we've got all of this really well done, which is nice. Uh, maybe focus on some Arctic warfare, because apparently the Soviets are going to be a problem. Uh, night fighting equipment? Can't get that just yet. Uh, let's see. Rocket artillery? We have literally none of those, so that doesn't matter all that much. Industry? We haven't done any of this research in a while, so let's get it. Uh, this one, mechanical computing machines, we will rush. Uh, all this good stuff we'll probably need eventually, so we'll just start getting that. Uh, nuclear research. Let's pump that up to priority, because that's probably going to be an issue. Uh, South Africa is being a problem, kind of just an annoyance. 
but it looks as though the British proper are going to be defeated pretty soon. We'll see if we can't do that in the next 10 minutes. If we can, then awesome. If we can't, then we're going to have to deal with that in the next video, which, uh, yeah, we're probably going to have to help the Germans as well because they're just doing awfully everywhere. And that's the less than ideal. In fact, that's basically the worst thing that they could be doing is just everything poorly, which is what they're doing, so cool. Yeah, well, mm. on the bright side, if the United Kingdom falls, which honestly is looking a lot more like when the United Kingdom falls, uh, we will be in a position to just start loading our forces back up and sending them really just anywhere else, which is what we'll do with them, as we're probably going to have to get them onto the Soviet border and support the Soviets. And uh, that'll take care of all of our short-term issues. Knocking the British out of the war is going to be a spectacular boon for us. I really do think that I added the war goal to puppet them, but I'm also not at all sure. I saw that we could add the war goal to conquer them. And we'll just have to, they'll have to survive for 12 more days for us to actually double check that. But I'm fairly sure our war goal is to puppet the British. And also take a whole lot of their lands. Most importantly, taking all of their lands, but also, to an extent, also to puppet them. Meanwhile, we're just roving through their countryside at this point, winning all sorts of battles, and all that's left that's of any importance at all is London. Plus, we're taking all of their uh, industrial capacity at this point, so, you know, that's cool. It's better that we do that than not. Uh, they did have an armored group, which they appeared to be retreating to the south. Not really sure where they were going with that. Probably around London, as that's going to be their final... Uh, really their final holdout, the last ditched hope of the British Empire is going to be London and the area thereabouts. So, you know, best of luck if you're British, but uh, if not, welcome to the Italian Empire, everybody. We're doing pretty good. Alright, everything seems to be going more or less in our favor. We're going to rebase our navy since it doesn't really need to be where it's at right now. It looks like the British are attempting to attack us with their armored group, so that's where they took it. And we're just seizing more and more of their territory to the extent that it's really just going handedly in our favor. It looks like the Germans are starting to make a little bit of progress against the Soviets, which is actually really awesome news. Because if the Germans are going to do well against the Soviets, we're not going to fight the Soviets. We're going to just sit back and let them beat themselves up a bit, like the Western Allies did in the real war, and just come in later once everyone's basically just bludgeoned themselves out of existence. And then we'll be able to take over basically everything. Now, is it going to work that way? I hope so, but probably not, as even on their worst day, the Soviet Union and the uh, German Reich are probably going to have significantly more forces than we will. Uh, ultimately, though, it doesn't matter all that much, because if they're weak enough and we time it well enough, We'll be able to give some 1-2 knockout blow that'll hopefully destroy one of these states, and then we'll rove against the other, and it'll all be pretty straightforward. Uh, once again, that's kind of just the plan. How it actually turns out when it's in motion is going to be uh, probably less, less, uh, less concrete, we'll say. It could go probably anyway. It looks like uh, that group of armor has retreated, so we waited probably way too long to reinforce them. At this point, though, it looks as though the British are just not having a good run of this at all, which is spectacular news if you're not the British, and we aren't, so that's spectacular news. The Battle of London's going really poorly compared to really just everything else. Uh, we won't take our transport group because that's awful. In fact, actually, we could take our last group of marines on the transports and hopefully launch a naval invasion. Actually, London doesn't even have that, so... Uh, what we'll do, we'll just chill here then and just start landing on this city. It doesn't even look like it's a fight. Uh, oh, more transports, that's great. We'll load them all up onto that group of reserves, production... Uh, let's just build more transports because we really, really need to ensure we have transports. Uh, probably by the time we're done building transports, we won't really need transports anymore. That might happen. Uh, we'll also build an armored group with, let's see, mechanized, mechanized, and self-propelled artillery. We'll build four of these, and they're going to be the main punching force that we're going to go hopefully destroy either the Soviet Union or Nazi Germany or a mix of the both. 
Alright, so this battle went pretty poorly. We're going to uh, not go attack London right now. It looks like they're actually going to push us back a bit. We'll just give up that for now until reinforcements can arrive and hopefully support us. Also, as they go into the countryside, they get out of London proper, which does kind of help us a bit. Alright, this group's going to rove around. Hopefully, uh, now they're fighting the armor that I was hoping we would just sort of avoid and encircle. Looks like the Belgians are getting all problematic on us. Hey, we sank some Australian groups. Ah, the Belgians are just doing stuff in Africa. It doesn't really matter. And we did take that port over, so let's go rebase. We'll load these guys back on up. And go drop them off in Bristol. Really just taking everything we can. Uh, this group will rove around to the other side of the river. These guys will have retreat. And hopefully, through retreating, we'll achieve a better position with which to attack the British, our erstwhile, or our, uh, erstwhile means former, interestingly enough. But our, uh, our significant foes, the British, will hopefully be able to do some damage against. We'll rove around, hopefully cut off this army, which has been doing so much damage to our armor, from retreat. Uh, let's see, this group will rove on down that way. Looks like the enemies managed to get there more or less at the same time, which is kind of tedious, but not so bad. This group of marines, I know I said I was going to try to make it so the marines didn't do anything, but they're... Oh my god, there's no one in London! Alright, we're going right for London right now. Let's see if we can add a war goal. We can add conquer or acquire territory. I really hope we're after puppeting them. I don't know for a fact that we're after puppeting them. I hope you guys don't mind if I save the game right now, because, uh, yeah, if we aren't actually puppeting the British and we just get a little bit of territories and they go back to being in the Allies, that would be god-awful. Uh, so let's see what happens. Oh, they won't surrender yet. Let's see, what's their surrender progress? Where are their victory points? We'll have to go after all these bits, more likely than not. At any rate... We, we've we discovered that, and the British Isles are really just ours now. I mean, I, admittedly, they do still have some presence here, but not really any that we need to worry about. And we're just going to take all of their ports with our marines right now. And as that happens, yeah, we, we, we have like three minutes before we get to the point where we're just being absolutely excessive with this. So, uh, yeah. Let's see, we've also destroyed a massive Canadian flotilla. Take that, Canadians, I guess. Uh, these guys go charge, attack. These guys also go charge and attack. They're probably facing all sorts of supply issues. Fun enough, we're not, even though we're, you know, launching some giant naval invasion of the British home islands. Looks as though we're doing pretty decent with it, as, uh, well, I would say. We'll just rove this group on over. Uh, we'll just bring them over to here, not all the way. Province is being lost. Doesn't matter all that much. Hopefully they don't retake London, as that would be a bummer. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty swell. Uh, these groups, can we actually beat them yet? Nope, let's not try. And we'll just eventually have to bring forces up north to deal with whatever remains of the British presence in Scotland, which appears as though it might be the uh, final last gasp of the British... Or probably we'll have to do some, like, colonial fighting. And you know what? Oh, you know, that means the Japanese are probably going to get it. That's going to be a nail. That's going to be so annoying. Japan's going to technically be the ones who defeat the British Empire, so they're going to enforce all their demands, and we might not enforce any of ours, which would be just such, such a disaster. So, well, mm, and we don't really have very many Marines, which would have been the uh, go-to, so we won't even have that. If we are puppeting the British, by the way, then we're really doing a lot of damage to our future puppet. They're going to have absolutely nothing in the way of a military, which is not ideal. I mean, ultimately it won't matter that much, but it's definitely not going to be ideal. We're definitely doing a lot of damage to the British, though. Their navy is just getting wrecked, which is awesome. If we don't get our war goals, if they become our puppet, then, you know, we messed up. Ultimately, though, I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. Let's go take this, uh, one of the two remaining British airfields. They didn't take one of their islands back. Once we have that, we won't even have to worry about the British Air Force whatsoever. 
Let's go bludgeon this group with our armor. It looks like they were immediately on the retreat when we did that, so that's cool. And we'll go re-retake that port from the British. Looks like they're also doing some tedious stuff down there with their forces. And we'll probably just circle around and hopefully be able to deal with that pretty easily. And this group will go down. That group's kind of just there, uh, so yeah, we'll just deal with that eventually. Looks like they ran out of supplies and they're not able to do anything over here. Hey, it was their uh, their paratroopers which took that back. We'll see if paratroopers beat marines. Hopefully the answer is no. Spanish nationalists are rising up, and I realize again that we'd still not actually moved our uh, suppression groups. So let's see. Uh, this navy, which can transport actually a very large number of men, will go over, pick up the suppression groups. We're really going over time at this point. Uh, this group will just go up. This group will cross over and then uh, just probably go back. Alright, sorry for taking this so very long. We have, however, uh, really just defeated the majority, the vast majority of British resistance, which was the goal. And you know what, we'll, we'll probably just stop it right here. So, where we're at right now, uh, Britain probably very close to the brink of surrender. Uh, I'd be surprised if they make it very much longer, especially because the Japanese are roving all on through this, and we'll probably pick up a victory point or two on the way. Now, that's cool and all, kind of sucks for us, because they'll probably win. And we're actually nowhere near any of their British victory points. Yeah, they don't really have any. So, we could probably send a flotilla over and take Bombay. Where's the British Empire capital at right now, is another, is another question. They're over here in Calcutta. That's cool. Uh, the Germans and the Soviet Union are doing their giant bludgeon one another to death off. Which, uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. See who starts to do well in that. Uh, with the British gone and hopefully puppeted, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll take over quite a bit of their territory, all their Mediterranean holdings. That will be ours. They'll still be a moderately influential group. And we're still at war with the USA, Canada, Mexico, basically all of the allies, which will be kind of headless at this point, or just America will take over. Uh, ultimately, that means in the long term, we're going to have to build a massive navy and probably launch some sort of naval invasion of the US and Canada, probably through one of these areas down here. And if we puppet the UK, then we'll just be able to land on any of these British colonial holdings in the area and use those as springboards. Now, there's two ways we could do that, and since we're already over time, I'm just going to say them now. Way number one, and you know what, I'll make, uh, I'll make, what are they called, war plans for the three contingencies uh, for the next video. But way number one is we wait and just build up our army, and then when either Germany or the Soviet Union seems to be going to win, or really, okay, we'll let the Germans press forward as far as they can. And if they start to get pushed back, ah, that's really the question, is when do we time it? When is the best moment for us to uh, attack the Soviets? Because if we just attack them the moment the Germans start to get pushed back, then the Germans will still have a lot of fight left in them and the Soviets will have a lot of fight left in them. But if they really do some damage against the uh, Germans and get really deep in there, then the Germans won't be able to fight at all, and the Soviets will be probably way too difficult. Um, oh, okay, so basically we're going to have to think about that, but uh, option one is build up our army first, fight one of these two colossus in our north. Option two, we build up our navy first, really hoping that the Germans and the Soviets just bludgeon each other to death for a very long time, and we knock out the Allies out of the war entirely. I'm really leaning to option one, because worst case, if we have too weak of a navy, we're pushed back to our mainland, and if we have too weak of an army, we lose. So that's uh, that's the plan. We're also going to pluck up these dudes before I forget for the like seventh or eighth time, and we're going to rebase them over in Valencia, where they're going to start roving around and dealing with Spanish rebels. Thanks very much for watching, sorry for going so very over time, but a lot happened.
this episode. A lot has changed, and thank you very much for watching. We'll be back uh, tomorrow with the next one.